Welcome back everyone. For this trip we're heading out to Grabengallen Creek public fossicking seeking area. The roads out here at the moment are quite damaged. So if you're heading out here, just take it easy. There's a lot of potholes and lots of corrosion and different obstacles you'll come across the track. But we'll get out there and hopefully we find something on this trip. I just got down to the um, Foster King area at Grabben Gullen. Bit of a drive, it's actually one of the closer ones to be honest. It's actually not too far from all you Sydney blokes anyway, but give us a look at the place, it's quite nice here. Nice clear water. Obviously had a bit of rain through, so hopefully that's brought some more sapphires downstream. Yeah. See how we go anyway. I was just going around at night, just having a look, because sometimes you can see sapphires where everyone's been digging. Sometimes just sticking out with a torch light, it's very easy to see them. And I noticed this old rubbish pile. And as you can probably see already, that Coke bottle up there. A few old Coke cans. So I'm going to try and dig that Coke bottle out because that one might be collectible because it's obviously old it's in ounces so it's an old one i just got to try and get it out i don't think it's broken still got the lid on it but i'll try and get it out without breaking it anyway i'm gonna take that home that's another nice piece just to put on the bar at home or something <laughs> i've been trying to get that coke bottle I've been digging it for a while, it's costed me. Well, some blood. <laughs> but, I'm going to try and keep getting it out. I've been scratching just with a tent peg at the moment. I'm literally going to go back to the camp, because I couldn't find a screwdriver or anything. I never bring the right stuff out when I need it, eh? I bring it out when I don't need it. So I'll try and, I don't know, I might even get it just a butter knife or something. I don't care, something a bit better than a bloody tent peg. Yeah, there's so much broken glass in there. I think that's must have been what I got my hand on. But I ended up um, grabbing my shovel. And I was just chipping slightly. Yeah, I'm running all these roots. Just chipping slightly around either side, just here. And up the top there, as you can see my shovel marks. And I've seen it move, so I know it's going to come out now. Oh, I hope this is, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in one piece. Let's hope we can get that lid with it. It's pretty rusted, but. Oh, yes. Oh, well, it's full of water or something. <laughs> we got it out in one piece. Beautiful. It's filled up with water or something over the years. How good is that? We got it out in one piece. It's just, oh, and the paint's all perfect on it. And then I just drop it straight in the rocks. That'll be my luck. After a few beers, I think I'm Steve Irwin. I think it's time for bed. Oh, 
All right, it's the next morning. Just getting a few of my sieves and stuff out. I'm going to see what we can find. Well, that's all we got for the day. You can see there, none of them are very good. They're like a green colour. It took me a while to figure that out. Some people who were down here that come here pretty often told me that um, they're green here. I've been looking for blue ones all the time, and I've seen them in there. I just, yeah, just thought they were, weren't very good, but apparently you do get blue ones here, but they're a lot rarer. But get a load of this piece to the left here. It nearly it reminds you of a piece of opal. I don't know what that is, but I just picked it up because it was interesting. That one, I have no idea what it is. But I'm hoping it's a sapphire. But it's very fractured on the inside, so it wouldn't be a good cutter anyway. But it's nearly like a bluey, a very light blue to purple. So, yeah, a little bit unsure about that one. Alright, we'll pack up and hit the road. We'll get rid of that so it's a bit clearer. There we go, that works. <laughs> Alright, well, I just got down to, um, the Fossicanera 